All right, so we got got a bus. Yep, bus. Got a Ford. Yep. So then we're taking some critical measurements here. So from the cab inside, we're like 59 inches. All right, that's good. Let's see what we got in here. So realistically, the whole body comes off, right? So. Same thing from focus from here. Hold on. Here to here. So that's the basically the inside. That's 60. So we're a little short, but that ain't bad. We got a big hump in here, which that kind of sucks. So that doesn't matter. So this guy, I think I'm gonna try to save the cowl and then cut out the dog house. Actually, I may just use the whole firewall in the front of this thing, just so the pedals bolt up, steering linkage bolts up, basically just cut the whole firewall out and put the cab, the Ford cab on around it. Um, which I think will work because we're at like, so the height of that guy, 18 inches. don't want to mess with this dash too much because it's in good shape. I want to leave that dash as much as I can. I don't know what I'm going to do about speedometer and all that stuff. So from the floor, we got 21 inches basically. So that's good. So that means that, means that whole cowl area will come in here. The brake pedal on the Ford is directly over the frame rail, which is cool. I come over here, same thing with this. You can kind of see the frame rail right there. Brake pedal lines right up with the frame rail. So that means that the brake is gonna be right about in the same spot. Um, so that, that makes that easy. Uh, steering wheel, 13 inches from the edge of the cab, the Ford. 15 yeah 15 or so so the steering wheel will shift over a couple inches which is good because these are never like you're sitting in it these are never in line so the steering wheel will shift over a little so that's cool <coughs> actually kind of get you closer to the door which i like anyways um and then so we know that the cowl will fit underneath the dash of the, of the Ford, which is good. Um, assuming I make, oh, that'd be one I need to measure too, is from like the back of the seat to the front to see what that space is. It's definitely not this much, definitely not this much. Um, so then the engine side, <clears throat> the biggest problem I'm gonna have is radiator height. That sucker is freaking huge. Holy crap, it's huge. Um, it's a pretty good size on the Ford too, but this trumps it by a mile. Frame width is all, all, always the same. It's 36 inches. Um, I think, no, 34 on commercial vehicles. So same thing here, 34. So that means that the body mounts for the Ford should bolt, uh, bolt right up to the frame exactly how I need. Same thing with the whole dump bed. The whole dump bed, <clears throat> hoist and everything in theory, should bolt straight up to the frame on that without any major width issues. So and then the top of the frame to the top of the engine, I'm not super worried about all this tubing on the intake up here because that can all be redone. Let's say top of the air horn, we're at 20, 22 and a half roughly. And then the air cleaner in the Ford here, the sun's not cooperating. The air cleaner in the Ford here stood up about to where this hole is. So um, there's a hole in the frame, a hole right here. So at 22 and a half, that puts us almost in the exact same spot. So height wise, we're good. Um, the depth of this thing, now that's where it kind of gets a little tricky. Uh, let's see if we do from the firewall 
here to the edge of the bumper were right at like 48 inches approximately. So same thing if we keep the firewall in the same spot, 48. So that pushes us out here a little bit. So I'm not sure what to do with that. I may end up having to <clears throat> push the cab. Uh, not really sure. I don't want to. I don't want to stretch the fenders or the hood at all on the truck. I want to keep the proportions the same. So um, we may end up actually scooting the cab forward a little bit, which brings that doghouse into the cab a little more. Not super sure on that. The engine itself. There's a hook back there. I'm gonna put this down for a second. There's a hook back here for pulling the engine out. And it's basically the very furthest point back. So if I hook that guy, there it is. All right, so all the way in there, if I hook that, the snout is, man, this 39 inches, call it 41. Let's see kept all this stuff on here not including the fan so that was from the back of the engine actually what we should measure is from the firewall because if we keep the firewall that's where it's all going to be so the actual firewall is 20 call it uh, thick 39 inches that's from the firewall so we were what 20 something 29 flat part of the firewall 20 i mean it's almost the same dang spot 29 puts us there well actually what did I say this is? 39 from the firewall to the radiator outside of the radiator. I mean that gets us right there which I may have I may have enough room it's gonna have to be some freaking fancy support work but may have some room maybe I may have the room to fit the grill and everything. The problem I'm running into on this guy is the intercooler and radiator are so freaking tall I mean they go clear down there so from the top of top of the frame rail to the top of the radiator are 28 inches come over here same thing. top of the frame rail to the top of the radiator oh boy that's this 28 inches too that's less than that one how is that possible huh I may actually work I wonder how wide this radiator is then So this is all frivolous, right? Yeah, that's just a splash guard. So the actual radiator itself is it's about 32. Obviously, I'll have to move the reservoir. The air intake is going to be different. The uh, cold and hot side of the tubes are different. You said it was 34. Oh, man. I mean, that's not much bigger than... Half of 34 is 15, 18. So if we put that in the center. So that puts that there. Puts that here. I uh, haven't really looked to see what this, what it has, what kind of clearance we have under the hood. Um, but I mean, realistically, this all should fit. The tires are taller, which kind of sucks. I could always change that. That's not a huge deal though. I mean, those are 30. These are 40s. This sucker's 37 and a half or so. And 37. And they rub. These ones rub here and rub here, but I'm not opposed to cutting this out a little bigger. Maybe not here. Maybe cutting here and spreading this open a little bit. Spreading this open a little bit to get clearance under that. The width of this guy, that one's going to be tricky because it's, uh, I think I measured it was like 80. Oh. 
want to say it was like 89 inches or something like that. Let's see if there's a spot where I can do this. Yeah, so from the outside to outside, 86 roughly. So I'm definitely going to have to widen the fenders to make this work. So that's, that's about right, right there, yeah? Yeah, it's close. Uh, so it puts 68, and we're, well, it's gonna have to go quite a bit wider, 77, 76 and a half. So five inches, uh, six inches wider on each side. So that's gonna be like the biggest body modification, I think, is gonna be the width of, uh, the width of the fenders, which I'm not really, super worried about one thing i haven't measured is the rear i didn't really care about that i was more concerned about the front um and you can see of course this thing's got air right on it air brakes um massive chassis you think the gvrw on this one is 30 i think it's thirty one thousand. all right so let's go yeah, this sucker's a lot wider than that truck for sure. So we have to get creative with that. All right, so line that guy up over there. You know, call it eight foot, ninety six inches. Yeah, ninety six. I don't even know how wide this is. I think this. I think the bed is. Oh, I don't even think it's eight foot wide. The bed. There's not a lot of not a lot of clearance there for anything much wider. Well, it's not terrible. Well, maybe it is. Alright, so you line this guy up roughly. Oh yeah, it's a freaking foot wider. <laughs> 70 87 yeah so that means the tires are going to be sticking out of the bed huh that kind of sucks really didn't want to have to widen this bed yeah because this bed's only seven foot six i think oh that's close seven foot ten i don't know maybe i can do some fender flares or something on that but then i'll have to clear the reinforce all this maybe put some put some plate on the inside of this guy up here and up here cut this bottom edge out oh this would have to all come out too huh i don't know we'll figure that out when we get to it but nonetheless um the steps i think will stay front bumper obviously will be the bus bumper maybe i get that four bumper on there that would look pretty cool i want to keep the ford as factory looking as possible it's kind of the so, anyways, that's the rough idea of the uh, measurements of the thing. Obviously, air cleaner goes away. That is a cute turbo for such a big engine. That's adorable. Um, alternator. All, everything mechanically will stay in place. I'll have to do something with the reservoir.